The information discussed on Pocket Money with Jeff Tarbell is believed to be from reliable sources. However, no responsibility is assumed for inaccuracies. No statement made on this broadcast should be construed as a specific recommendation of a particular investment product. Views expressed are those of the speakers and do not necessarily represent those of CBS Radio. Views only is directed. Smiles, everyone. Smiles. And prepare yourself for... Show me the money! Ladies and gentlemen... The radio broadcast experience designed to keep your wallet in top condition. It's Talking Money with Jeff Tarbell. Talking Money. Talking Money. More money, more money, more money. And now entering the studio, your guru for fiscal fitness, Jeff Tarbell. Right, right. How you doing? Yeah, that, that starting gun starts early today. I wasn't uh, for some reason. I was thinking we had to do you know Fox Sports or something. I, I'm not paying attention here. Vince must have left early to give us give us a little extra time. How are you doing? This is Talk of Money. The Italian Stallion is out today. John Farrero is on uh, on leave. He may, maybe he was uh, maybe he's out with there with Melky. Was he, yes, uh, well, did maybe. He, did he fail the uh, mandatory KCK <laughs> drug test? He might have. <laughs> That's entirely possible. Uh, in his place, you, you say your own name. Why do I always got to introduce everybody? Yeah, you don't have to. Uh, Kent Smith. Kent is in. Kent is our, uh, well, Kent started coming here as, as, as a two or three K stuff, and he just keeps showing up at the door like that cat. You can't, you know, you close the door, the cat keeps wanting to come in, so he, he's there. He's knocking on the door. We'll let him in. We feel sorry for him. It's raining outside. That's right. It almost rained like it was going to rain a little bit this morning. I don't know what's going it on. It was sprinkling a little bit at my place this morning. Yeah, so, out there, uh, your up, place up in... Up El Rod Hills. Up in Honolulu? Up in Honolulu, yeah, right. You came in from the uh, <laughs> the Wailea Bay? That's right. Just got in this morning. I have so much stinking uh, real estate stuff here, it'll make you uh, throw up in your mouth. It makes me throw up in my mouth. It's just hearing my own voice makes me throw up in my mouth. <laughs> this is Talk of Money. We've got phone lines open, 339-1140, 1-800-920-1140, or you can text us at 44-1140 if you want. I thought I had a, I thought I had something. Uh, yeah, here we go. I was going to just start out that too. Um, got a lot of real estate stuff. Got some stuff to give away today. I even got a place where you can get free land if you want free land. Why buy when they'll give it to you for free? Excellent. So we'll get into that today. We are. Uh, I think this is t- one, two, two more shows. We do the two hour, and then we go back to an hour for uh, football season to pick back up again. And you know what? I'm gonna have a hard time doing an hour. Everybody used to ask me, what are you going to do for two? And I'm thinking, I'm thinking now, what the hell am I going to do with only one? We should be going to three. We right. Should, we should just do like an all-Saturday show. Just, you know, wake up, go the whole day. We could do it. We should do for, a road show every weekend. Just, well, Hellwig was a lot of fun. But it, you know, Ken was asking me how did it go up there, and it, it was it was gorgeous. But, man, it was warm up there. It's, it's, I like to go up there to get away from the heat. Although you're not that much higher. But you're a little bit. You're generally a little bit, a little bit of a heat difference. But it was warm up there last night. It was ridiculously warm. But it was uh, that place is so nice up it there, is. so nice. I um, I left there thinking, man, you got to sell a lot of wine to, to I mean, for these places. To, but they're really, and we didn't get into it too much with them a little bit. But you, but you, you start to wonder: is it do you, you put a nice facility up? Are you doing that to sell more wine, or do you doing it to do to attract people there for events? You know, because that, that that that's a place where you're not just coming there to, to wine taste. That's an event place. You, they're doing the concerts. You can rent it. We rented it out for a couple of events, so um, it's 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 nice. Yeah, they did a good job out there. Yeah, and they got a little, little hotel up there now too. They can do mm-hmm. a little, little lower night. So anyway, that was fun. And we thank thank the people at Hellwig, and I, I do have a couple of the Friday night concert series, uh, the Friday night Hellwig at dusk tickets to give away today too, which is different than their concerts. Their concerts are like a Saturday concert. This is their. And I didn't know I didn't know this. They do a barbecue up there on Friday nights, and then they have a little concert inside or outside depending on the weather. Kind of a nice deal. So we'll give away some of those today, too, with some more quiz questions, if I can find a few more. And, of course, we'll take your calls and your texts, should you uh, choose to uh, jump in there. I um, I don't even know where to start. I guess I guess I'll start where we started there in the conference room, which is Kent, Kent opened up the door and said, well, how's that uh, home project year's going? And, of course, then I barfed all over him with my, uh, co- my comments of, uh, next time I uh, – should you, at, at any point in the future – whether I'm on the radio or in person, hear me say, I'm thinking about starting another construction project for my own. I don't mind doing one if you're not going to live there. If it's like, if it's like if it's a true spec project or something else, I don't care. You don't, you don't get emotionally tied in a, 
spec house, right, or a flip house. Fine, let's flip it and get it out. And you could, that, that cabinet is fine, and that carpet is fine, and just get the hell in and get the hell out, and let's go, right? That's, a, that's what a spec project is. Correct. So you always want to buy something for me that I lived in. Let me just put it, <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> because regardless, now last time I did this in 2007, um, frankly, I, I, I'll be very honest with you, in 2007, I did not establish a budget. I did not try to maintain a budget. I had just sold a big house up in the, up in the mountains. I had a bunch of money sitting around. Things were going, back in 07, things were going crazy. And I just said, you know, here, build it. And they said, okay, fine. Well, this, do you like this cabinet or this cabinet? Oh, I like that one. You know, and, and we just, you just kind of picked out stuff. And nobody ever said, do you, do you, do you want to see the price tag? Yeah, the price tag. <laughs> and, you, and we had a quote unquote, you know, uh, oh, I don't know what they call it, I guess design planner or something. Somebody was supposed to be helping you, looking out for your best interests. And, and hell, they were looking out for what they want at the end of the day is the nicest picture they can take. And they can say, look at what we did as planners. You know, they don't want to write the check. And so that project went really, really expensive, and it was a very, very nice house, and we sold it and did very well. Now, 2012, I specifically come into this project with the idea that that will not happen again. And so there's a downside to having a budget, or at least trying to maintain one, is, is that it takes a lot of work, right? And you've got to make really hard choices on what you want to do and what i was telling kent beforehand because kent handles all the two a lot of the two or three all the two or three k stuff for us which if you're not familiar is is a fha product it's, it's a for a lack of intense better word it's a it's a construction loan a rehab loan if you will you don't build a new house for the two or three k loan but you rehab a house correct and i've seen them rehab from a little fifteen thousand twenty thousand dollar you know cosmetic rehab and i've seen people take them down to the studs and come back out I mean, it's whatever you your, whatever your addition of rehab is is if if you qualify for it, they'll do it. That's right. right. Okay, that's right. So now here we are in two thousand seven, two thousand twelve, and as I was mentioning to Kent, real estate prices for the most part, although they're trickling up, which I got some some great articles here, but real estate is down, quote unquote, down from some previous high, and theoretically we're in a recession or a slow economy, and theoretically. I should be able to strike gold when it comes to finding, you know, parts and pieces for this house to put it back together. This this house we bought uh, out in on a couple acres, and I am finding the exact opposite. That frankly, cabinet prices haven't come down at all. I mean, I don't think they've come down at all. They're they're, they're no swing and deal, and granite or tile or appliances or carpet or any of the things these prices have not come down right so so you you think in your mind okay well this is a great time to do something and, and within certain retail products they probably are i mean maybe cars are more competitive i don't know but i can tell you that in the home construction business and and labor is not down People aren't charging you less to frame your house or do those other things too. Now, what you do get right now, which I didn't, we had a trouble with before, is you get uh, a, there's a little better supply of people who have something, some time on their hands to help you, and you get a little better quality individual. So the framer before that told you I'm a year out, and you said, well, forget it, I can't wait a year. I'll have to take you know framer B minus. Um, now you're getting framer A plus, but he still wants. 30, 40, 50, 60, you know, whatever they charge, their, whatever their fee is per hour, they're, they're, they're still holding their fee straight. So it, it, it reinforces to me the fact that if you're looking at existing homes, and as you mentioned during, before the show here this morning, you may not find that house that is quote unquote turnkey, but it's got 95% of what you want. Um, I still come back to the fact that's, that's a hell of a lot better deal than trying to go in and take a wrecked one. Or, or take one and wreck it and put it back together on your own because the cost of all those components have not come down. They really haven't. Um, I'm finding that you can go out and, I mean, there's you can actively shop it. And this is what we did not do last time. There's some things you can shop and some things you can, you cannot really. And, and this is you know another learning lesson, if you will. There are some appliance appliances, and I figured, okay, look, I'll, I'll, we'll go out and we'll pick the appliances we want. And, I mean, you can be anywhere from – a twenty-five thousand dollars stove to a twenty-five hundred dollars stove, right? So just go out and put your wish list together, which we do the same thing everybody does. Just put it on paper. What would you like? And then you can back off, right? Everybody does that. So 
But a lot of these appliances, which I never knew, you get you, you get beyond the the Home Depot GE product, you know, where you know everybody gets a Home Depot or, or Costco you can get that washer or dryer anywhere, whatever. But you get to kind of that middle level and on up, something that that that's that's kind of a brand name. And then those are those prices are set by the manufacturer, and it doesn't matter where you go, you're paying that price. Mm-hmm. And that's frustrating because I thought, okay, I got I got it made here, so I found uh, this oven, right? And so I type on the oven, and then and up up it pops. And of course, I see the minute uh, the first one I see is like half the price the guy quoted me. I'm like, oh, I got him, I nailed him. I, I call, I type, type him back, hey, look it, I found it here. And the guy's like, no, mine starts with an E. Your start, that one starts with a D, different model. So he prices it out, and it's exactly the same. It was the same price at Lowe's. It's the same price at A and A. It was the same price. It doesn't matter. Ha- have you gone looking at uh, restaurant supply warehouses? No. Okay. So w- w- are you looking at like Thermidor, Wolf, Mealy? Yes. Viking. Yeah. Okay. Got to go to a restaurant supply house. A restaurant supply house, uh-huh. and they can sell it at a different price. Well, because or do I, am I going to get one that's like a forty grill burner? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> the good news is you got an on deal. The bad news is your kitchen's on fire. No, no. But here the other the other thing is this too: is if you take a look at um, restaurants that are out of business. Um, most of them will still have their equipment in there. Okay. And if they're out of business, they're looking to hawk that equipment. Uh-huh. Relatively brand new. Um, quite frankly, there's not, because I was in the restaurant business for 20 years, really, there's no difference between paying top dollar for a brand new wolf range when you can go out and get the same wolf range that's a year old. Did you say wolf or wolf? Wolf, W L L. You said wolf. Yeah, wolf. That's wolf, your dog wolf. Does. Sorry, <laughs> coffee right. hasn't kicked in this morning. Um, <laughs> but aren't they? But aren't aren't you getting a restaurant size? I mean, I'm not building. We're building a kitchen. Uh, no, you can go out and get because what a lot of restaurants will do is they will um, they'll buy smaller size okay. of the same manufacturer that a lot of people now in their homes when they're remodeling are putting that in their house yeah. and their standards with their five burner their you know, standard oven with maybe a warming drawer or something. So that's what you need to go look at. Okay. So there's a restaurant actually that just closed up next near me that they might have one. They might be having a quote unquote fire sale. So, oh, oh okay. Well, we could check in. So there you go. Restaurant supply house. But, uh, and the other thing that I, you know, that we did not do last time that shame on us, but we did do this time is that certainly you, where you do get some, and you know, if you're going through the remodel, or even you're doing your own minor kitchen or you're doing a whole house, it doesn't matter. Um, you start looking at the plumbing supplies, your your faucets, your your sinks, your toilets, those kind of things too. Now there are huge mark. I mean, huge variances. I mean, you can, the same, and and it, that's what that's what just irritates the hell out of me. And I, I don't know why it does, because, but I, it's like if I walk in your store, do you think I'm not going to just look around a little bit? And you, it, so they give you like one. You know, one faucet for the sink, six hundred and thirty-eight dollars. I'm like, my God, that thing's got to be this would be solid gold, and you can find the same thing at Home, Home Depot or Lowe's or some other supply place for you know two fifteen. And it's like, what am I? I, I? I don't know. It just, I guess, hey, if you can get six hundred thirty-eight bucks for a faucet, get it. Exactly. You get it. That's how you pay for the nice the nice showroom. So anyway, it's been it's been eye opener again, and um, and it, it and it show it shows me again. Now this house that we bought, we did not do. Um, a home inspection on it and there was one provided to us and quite frankly what we have found would have never come out in a home inspection i mean the kind of thing until you take sheetrock off a wall or remove a wall or look behind something or do something to that effect some things you're just never going to find and you're that's what happens you start you open up a can of worms I, i am tom hanks in the money pit right now right you open up the wall and you're back in you're back into it all of a sudden you know Everything doesn't look as good anymore. So it's been quite the eye-opener again. But it'll be nice when it's done, I believe. Great neighborhood. Yeah, well, now we, we, don't have, we don't have any neighbors anymore. They're all, you know, they're all like a couple acres away. So that was, that's, that's the nice part. It'll be, it'll be good when it's done. And I've become like the water boy. Because what, what I forget is that, is that when, you grow, when, you, when you buy a place that's a little 10,000-foot lot, like our last house, small lot, you know, everything's on a drip system, and you turn on the water, and it does its thing here, and you get out on a couple acres, and everything just goes bone dry. And you're constantly fighting to keep water going again. So I spend half my time now just making sure stuff doesn't die. So I'd become a farm boy. Very good. Yeah, I'm gonna give myself a little John Deere. Ding. Excellent. Yeah. So we have. Uh, let's let's get our first quiz question in. And I I'm not sure our text line is working. This thing looks like it might be frozen up. So we'll try that. Get that working today at 44 
And uh, a couple phone lines open if you want to jump in at 339-1140. Our first quiz question of the day, we will give away, let's give away one of those Friday night uh, dusk, Hell Week at Dusk tickets for uh, you. I think it's, I think there's a dollar amount, or maybe it's for two people. We'll check it out and go up there to the, the Friday night dusk. So the Olympics are over. And uh, I believe the U.S. Dom- I, was, I don't know if dominated is the right word, but we, they were the number one medal holder. Is that Cor- right? Correct. What were, we, what were we, 80, 90, 100 medals? Uh, 104 total. Okay. Uh, China with 87. And then uh, Russia with 82. Great Britain with 65. And Germany with 44. Okay, so what's your quiz question then? Okay, so the quiz question is, um, per capita, uh, per a million people, okay. which country earned the most medals? Per million people. Per million. Okay. So which so the United States was the overall medal winner, but which country per million people was the uh, top medal winner in the uh, – so we're looking for a smaller country probably because they – well, not necessarily, I guess. Not necessarily. Now, you, now you, you would think that China would not be in there just because they have so many people that even they won like 1,000 medals, they might not still be at the top. <laughs> probably not. So which country – 339-1140, or you can text us at forty four eleven forty. Which country per million people was the top? Are we talking about all medals? Correct. All medal. Okay, top medal winner. You know the answer to that? You can text us at forty four eleven forty if you want, or you can give us a call at 339 1-800-920-1140. If I'm missing some key, key remodel, remodeling tip or remodeling instruction I should be dealing with, Kent gave us a good one about the restaurant uh, supply house. What else am I missing? Anybody know how to do any plumbing? We'll be right back.